So understanding the sign of the derivative tells us a lot about the behavior of a function. So wherever the derivative is greater than zero, the function is increasing. And for this, um, for AP Calc, we're only going to focus on open intervals of increase and decrease. So don't worry about closed. So whenever your derivative is less than zero or negative, that means your function is decreasing. And if your derivative is equal to zero, then f is constant on that interval. So now we're going to use that idea to determine whether um, where this function below is increasing. So I need to check the derivative to see where my derivative is positive. So first for the derivative, f prime of x equals its product rule 2x e to the negative x plus x squared minus 3 times e to the negative x times negative 1. So now in order for me to evaluate where it's increasing or decreasing, I need to get this into factored form. So first thing I'm going to do is factor out an e to the negative x and that leaves 2x minus x squared plus 3. So now um, that's f prime of x equals e to the negative x times negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. So I'm going to factor out that negative leading coefficient and that's negative e to the negative x x squared minus 2x minus 3. So f prime of x is negative e, well let's see, uh, negative 1 over e to the x times x minus 3 x plus 1. So we know f prime of x equals 0 when x equals 3 or negative 1. So those are um, the important values to check my intervals at. So what we can do now is a little sign chart to see what's happening around these values. So we have negative 3, oh I'm sorry, negative 1 and 3 and we're checking our derivative to see the sign or the uh, increase or decrease of our original function. So if I'm checking a value here, I could say let x equal 0. If I plug in 0 into this derivative function, I get a negative multiplied by a negative multiplied by a positive. So that's going to be a positive, which means it's increasing in that interval. If I choose a number less than negative 1, let's say x is negative 2, I have a negative times a negative times a negative, which is a negative, which means it's decreasing. And if I check a number greater than 3, let's say x equals 4, I get a negative multiplied by a positive multiplied by a positive, which is a negative. So it's decreasing on that interval. So the only interval where my function is increasing is negative 1 to 3.